Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Okay, it's time to review another one of those special reserve hot sauces from Drew's Chili Company from Chef Andrew Jacobson. And I just really get excited when I have the opportunity to review one of his very special, special reserve hot sauces. Just amazing what Drew does uh, with his flavor profiles and all of the ingredients that he uses, just absolutely amazing. And if you've watched my channel for any length of time, you know that uh, he released one every single month last year. Uh, 2018 is a little bit different. He's doing one each quarter or one for each season. And so this is his new one. This is the Spring Reserve 2018. This is what he's calling the Primavera Novus hot sauce. That means spring reborn. Now just check out that beautiful artwork on the label. We're going to talk about that here in a minute. We're also going to spend some time talking about these uh, very, very unique ingredients that are in this one. But the Primavera Novus hot sauce, this is his spring reserve. Let me go ahead and read the uh, side of the bottle here, and I'm going to do it from the website. It makes it a little bit easier. It says, spring, a time for all things fresh and new, time to be reborn. We introduce Primavera Nova Spring Reborn, a fusion of Mexican and Indian inspired flavors featuring the, featuring the freshest, exotic, and savory ingredients that are renowned for their aromatic, bold, and exciting tasting properties to be devoured on all fare and especially on curries to tacos. How about that? Enjoy, Drew Jacobson. Now listen to these ingredients, guys. I want to show a few pictures of some of these ingredients as I go along here. But we start off with fresh chilies, green chilies, I believe, for the most part, including the Indian chihuahua peppers, fire-roasted poblano peppers, jalapenos, banana peppers. Then we have roasted tomatilla verde, white wine vinegar, fresh garlic scapes, Chai masala tea infusion. Now, this is one thing I noticed that Drew does. He not only just throws a bunch of ingredients together and blends it up and cooks it and calls it a hot sauce. He actually takes the time to, to cook and infuse, infuse and make parts of the ingredients that are going to go into a hot sauce. For example, this one right here, the chai masala tea infusion. That's something that he has to take the time to make that is going to go in to this particular hot sauce. Now, masala is uh, means a different, different, many different types of spices, a blend of spices. So this uh, tea includes green cardamom, black cardamom, ginger root, cassia bark. Now, cassia bark is like cinnamon, but they say it's more pungent, uh, much less delicate flavor than just re regular cinnamon. It's a spicy sweet with a mild scent and is used for uh, spicy main dishes. So not just cinnamon, but cassia bark. And then we have ground black pepper and cloves. Then we have fresh ground turmeric, water mint leaves. Now there's a picture of water mint leaves right there. I've never had that. Um, it is part of the mint family, so uh, it's probably producing, of course, of course, the minty flavor. Then we have cinnamon leaves, soursop leaves. There's a picture of those leaves right there. So something very unique and different. Uh, coriander leaves, lime cordial. So that's something else that he makes. It's uh, you know a mixture of uh, you know lime and sugar and water. Sea salt, fresh lime juice, and then we have jaggery sugar. Have you ever heard of jaggery sugar? That is uh, totally different than regular sugar. Now, both jaggery sugar and regular sugar start the same way uh, by being processed or boiled down from uh, sugar cane, but uh, it stops right there because sugar is, uh, goes on to be much more refined by adding charcoal, getting it to crystallize. But with jaggery, it doesn't. It stays thick. It stays syrupy. It's formed into a paste and then uh, sold that way. So it's much different than regular sugar. And then we have cashmere, cashmere saffron. Just, just an amazing sounding list of ingredients. But another thing I wanted to talk about here is that he's really focusing on layers of flavor, layers of aroma in his hot sauces. It's just amazing how much you can really pick up when you smell them and when you taste them. It's just absolutely amazing. But just take a look at this, uh, what he has done with this label. That is a Mexican... Uh, style mandala, which is a um, kind of a uh, mean circle, 
and it's kind of a spiritual thing, uh, a ritual type symbol uh, that uh, could mean to represent the universe. And so in that, it's probably hard to see, but you can see the ingredients that he is using in his hot sauce. You can see the, um, the flowers from the uh, uh, saffron, I forgot what it's called, but you can also see the black and green cardamom. You can see the, uh, the joala peppers. Uh, looks like also you can see the water mint leaves and the soursop leaves. So these, the ingredients in his hot sauce are included in that uh, mandala right there on the label. Just absolutely amazing. And just check out this color on this sauce, guys. It's kind of like a, Drew referred to it as fluorescent green, and that's the first thing I thought of when I saw it as well. Just a very, a very fluid, a very liquidy type sauce. So this one's not thick at all. But, uh, you know, green, he wanted it to be fresh, bright, clean, you know, representing spring. And as you can see there, and you might be able to even pick up on some of the saffron threads that are in there and some of the other ingredients, but just absolutely beautiful looking sauce. All right, well, let's go ahead and get into the, uh, the flavor of this one or the aroma. Now, when I first smelled this, guys, um, once again, um, I didn't catch everything all at once. This one really took me by surprise, like a lot of his special reserves do. Um, I take my time with them. I mean, Drew really puts me to the test in trying to figure out uh, everything that's going on in here. But I took notes once again um, in, um, in reviewing this sauce because I've just got so many different um, uh, flavors and aroma. It's just absolutely amazing. There's just something about it. Um, I get sweet. I get sour. I get fruity. Um, I also get kind of an astringent type uh, aroma. I get minty. I get musky, which is a, definitely from the cardamom. But it's just something about it that's absolutely amazing. All of that put together, and that's another thing that I like about what Drew does with his sauces, is he knows how to layer flavors. Nothing, no one thing stands out more than the other, um, but he knows how to just blend a myriad of different ingredients to create layers of flavor. Sometimes you can pick up more sweet. Sometimes you can pick up more sour. Um, it's just amazing what he does. All right, well, let's go ahead and check this out. Primavera Novus. All right, do a spoonful here for you. Here we go. Now, it's the same thing, guys, when you taste it. He's got this rated heat, 2 out of 10. It is very mild. That's exactly what I would give it, 1 to 2 out of 10 for heat. But the flavor, it's just all of those things that I described in the aroma is what you pick up on the palate. Um, it's light, it's bright, it's fresh, it's clean. Um, it's, it's astringent, it's musky, um, it's earthy. Um, it's slightly sweet, slightly sour. It's just all of those things together. I guess from that uh, chai masala tea infusion, you get kind of some, um, maybe some um, green spice notes. Um, I, I wrote down here uh, vegetal notes of green spice and pepper. Um, it's just absolutely amazing. Just really, really unique and different. Um, a perfect uh, blending and infusion of Mexican um, flavors, I guess, more, you know, from the chilies and from the tomatillo, from the roast, uh, the um, roast, fire roasted poblano peppers, and then with the other ingredients like the, uh, uh, the cinnamon and the cassia bark and the, uh, uh, the uh, cardamom and the uh, saffron with the Indian type infusions. He's just made something that's just really, really unique. I mean, I think like he says, I mean, you need to put this on um, curries and tacos and grilled meats and um, different things like that. I think it would just be fantastic. But Drew, I don't know how you do it. You just do such an amazing job on all of your hot sauces. This is highly recommended, guys. This one is going to be released uh, Tuesday, May the 1st, unless Drew does it earlier like uh, he's known to do a lot of times. But this is very special, guys. Something you don't want to miss. 
Um, just what he does with his flavor profiles, it just blows me away at times. It really, really does. A fantastic uh, job on this one, Drew. Check it out, guys. Give him a like on Facebook if you haven't already. Um, and jump on this. Make sure you get a bottle of these special reserves. They're not going to last long, and they go really fast. I'll put the link down in the description for how you can get these sauces. All right, Drew, thank you so much for sending it. I appreciate it. Guys, thank you for watching. And until the next time, make sure you enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.